Title, The Map to Hollow Creek. The night air was thick with anticipation as Jake, Mia, Sam, and Tyler piled into Jake's old van, their hearts racing with excitement and fear. Hollow Creek was a town that had long been abandoned, rumored to be haunted by the restless spirits of those who had once lived there. But it wasn't just the ghosts they feared, it was the zombies creatures said to roam the streets, searching for lost souls to claim as their own. Are you sure we should be doing this? Mia asked, her voice barely above a whisper as they drove further from the safety of their suburban lives. Come on, it's just a town, Tyler scoffed, adjusting his baseball cap. We're armed with flashlights and courage. What could possibly go wrong? Jake gripped the steering wheel tightly, his knuckles white. Let's just stick together, okay? If we see anything weird, we turn back. As they approached the town limits, the landscape shifted. The trees grew denser, their gnarled branches twisting like skeletal fingers reaching for the sky. The van's headlights illuminated the weathered sign, Welcome to Hollow Creek, enter at your own risk. A shiver ran down Jake's spine, but he pressed on, determined to face whatever lay ahead. They parked on a cracked asphalt road, the van's engine sputtering to a halt. The silence was deafening, broken only by the distant hoot of an owl. Let's make a map, Sam suggested, pulling out a worn notebook. If we're going to find these zombies, we need to know where we've been and where we're going. They huddled together, sketching out a rough layout of the town based on old rumors and stories they had heard. Each landmark the decrepit church, the abandoned school, the old cemetery was marked with a red X, and they planned their route carefully. With flashlights in hand and makeshift weapons baseball bats, a garden spade, and an old axe they found in the Vanthi ventured into the heart of Hollow Creek. The air grew colder, and a deep fog rolled in, swallowing the ground beneath their feet. Did you hear that? Mia whispered, her eyes wide with fear. A rustling sound echoed from the shadows, and they all froze. It's just the wind, Tyler said, though his voice wavered. They pressed on, adrenaline kicking in as they reached the old church. Its doors hung ajar, creaking ominously. As they stepped inside, the air was thick with decay. The moonlight streamed through broken stained glass, casting ghostly patterns on the floor. Suddenly, a guttural moan pierced the silence. The friends turned to see a figure staggering toward the mitt's skin pale and decayed, eyes sunken and lifeless. Zombie! Jake shouted, raising the axe. Chaos erupted as they fought. Tyler swung his bat, but the zombie lunged, knocking him to the ground. In a desperate scramble, Sam swung the garden spade, but it was too late, Tyler was gone, swallowed by the darkness. Panic set in as they fled the church, the map forgotten. They raced toward the cemetery, hoping to find safety among the tombstones. But the moans grew louder, and shadows began to emerge from the graves. Over there, Mia pointed to a mausoleum. We can hide inside. They dashed to the stone structure, slamming the door behind them. Breathing heavily, they leaned against the cold stone, their hearts pounding like war drums. We need to regroup, Sam said, his voice trembling. We can't let them take us too. As the zombies clawed at the door, the friends quickly drew a new map, marking their escape routes and potential hiding spots. With their weapons ready, they devised a plan to lure the zombies away, hoping to buy themselves time. In a desperate bid for survival, they executed their plan. With a combination of bravery and sheer luck, they managed to draw the undead away from the mausoleum, but not without losing Sam in the chaos. Jake and Mia, now alone and terrified, emerged into the moonlit night, the map a tattered reminder of their fallen friends. They stumbled through the streets, dodging the grasping hands of the undead. Where do we go now? Mia cried, panic flooding her voice. We stick to the map, Jake replied, determination hardening his resolve. We find the van and get out of here. As they navigated the treacherous streets, every sound sent chills down their spines. The town of Hollow Creek was alive with danger, and it was only a matter of time before they faced the darkness that had claimed their friends. In the distance, the van's headlights flickered like a beacon of hope. They sprinted toward it, hearts pounding, the shadows of Hollow Creek closing in behind them. Would they escape the clutches of the undead, or would they become just another tale whispered about in the night? With the map clutched tightly in Jake's hand, they dashed toward freedom, knowing that the horrors of Hollow Creek would haunt them forever.